All right, single men, this is how virgins can get their first lay from in-person boot camps. So in this video, you're gonna learn exactly why that is. Um, and this video is for single men who aren't getting their desired results with women from cold approach, from social circle game, from dating apps, from matchmakers, from DMing random women on IG slash TikTok, from in-person boot camps, from getting even more jacked, from doing another fucking photo shoot, or from spending more time looking for some other solution. And they've been trying to solve this problem, this woman problem, for six months or more. So you've tried all or most of these for the past six months and you're still unhappy with your women results, then this video is for you. So have virgins can get their first life from in-person boot camps. A data point you should know, like a general reference point is, you need a minimum of approximately 100,000 unique women to see you aka to know you exist so that you can get a reference point as to you, where your SMV is at uh, in, in the 2024 sexual marketplace. This is how much volume is actually required. And this is so you can see how many of those 100,000 women reach out to you. Those are the only women that matter. And yes, it is 100,000 minimum in the 2024 sexual marketplace today. And where did I get this 100K reference point from? Well, I got it from um, reference point Lima, Peru when I was there. 38,000 women had to see me, unique women had to see me to get one high interest woman who would meet up, bang, first date. And I'm gonna guess the US and Canada is at least three X as hard. So that's where I get the uh, 100,000 um, minimum per one high interest woman, you know, approximately. Uh, and I'm 29, so now if you're younger than me, your number's probably right around there. If you're older than me, all right, it'll probably be a little bit less because your SMV is actually higher. Well, so we want to compare, we're going to compare the in-person boot camps to what I'm currently doing to see how virgins can get their first lay from in-person boot camps. So let's say you, you're doing a boot camp, we can boot camp Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, someplace like Las Vegas or Miami or like, you know, Medellin. Um, cold approach, you cold approach 200 new women. You do like six to six hours a day, six hours Friday night, six hours Saturday night, six hours Sunday night. And so you get 200 women. So your max new women that found out about you that weekend was 200. You spend 18 hours. Um, so, that's like, yeah, six hours a night. And what the heck? 218 hours. Let me even see. I might have even, might even uh, made you a turbo cold approacher. In this case, hold on. So 200, uh, 200 women in 18 hours. So two, 18 times 60. So 200 women, women per minute. 1080. No, so I'm saying you're doing a 5.4 minutes per cold approach, which normally has to be like 10 to 15 minutes per cold approach. But let's say if you did it six hours full time, you know, literally all six hours, yeah, maybe five to six minutes per cold approach. Makes sense. Uh, normally it's like 10 to 15, kind of like a normal one to two hours of doing cold approach. Because taking into account, getting ready, driving there, parking, the cold approach, um, decompressing between each cold approach, not trying to be too harassing, so not too high frequency. And then, um, you know, driving home, getting undressed, showering, you know, getting ready to go to sleep. So this is probably your max, do 218 hours. So to hit this uh, 100,000 unique women number, you gotta do 9,000 hours of high intensity boot camps, is that right? Um, so it's 5.4 minutes per cold approach, 5.4 minutes per woman. So 100,000 divided by 5.4, 18,519 uh, minutes divided by 60, 300 hours. It looks like. All right, so how many women 
So 200 divided by 18. 200 divided by 18. 11 women per hour. So 100,000 divided by 100,000 divided by 11. Okay, uh, it was right. About 9,000. Dude, 9,000 hours to get your um, 100,000 women. That's actually... That's interesting. Okay. I feel like... Let me see. So I do 34 women an hour. 29, 41. Okay, that makes sense, because we're only doing 11. Okay. Yeah, I thought that um, my magnitude was off. But no, I did do the math right, because this is called a brush, obviously, because it's going to be less efficient than, um, uh, you know, just DMing women. All right, so yeah, that 9,000 hours is correct to get uh, 100,000 new women to find out. Plus, the cost you paid for the boot camp was like two grand. And... But let's just say you only do one boot camp, you get this, the skills to do cold approach, um, and so you only spend two grand. So it's gonna cost you $2,000 plus 9,000 hours to get 100,000 new women to know you exist. Okay. Um, compared to what I did this weekend, no cold approach, no social circle game, no dating apps, no matchmakers, no damning random women on IG slash TikTok. But I ran YouTube vlog ads, just like vlogging at a interesting places in my city, my current city. Um, and the max number of new women, that unique women that saw me this weekend was 1,866. Spent zero hours, so no time. So this ran all in parallel with me, like doing my normal stuff in my life. And it cost me 23 bucks. So if I kept, kept at this like, you know, 600, so this is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If I kept at this 600 unique women per day, take me a, like 161 days to reach 100,000 new women. With me not even doing any, you know, not too much extra effort. Um, and then the cost to reach those women with, you know, paying for the ads, 1,233 bucks. And the asterisk here is uh, full, it did take a full eight hour day to set up, record, so go out, record the content, edit it together, set up all the ads accounts, get everything good, full eight hour day. But once you get set up, it runs forever. Um, and let's compare from midnight to 8 a.m. this morning. So you, you're done with the boot camp. Uh, so no new women found out about you, and you also spent no time because you were sleeping. But me, uh, approximately 109 new women found out I existed and had the chance to, you know, see me and get the coochie tingles for me or not. And dude, I spent zero hours dealing with any woman that did not get the coochie tingles for me and therefore did not reach out. So zero minutes per girl, cost was $1.34, so it cost me like 1.2 cents per girl. And I saved all that time, I could do whatever I wanted. Again, full eight hour data set up, then it runs forever. And by the way, for me to get all my content in one day, you know, to record it all, it all cost me two bucks, which was the $2 all day bus pass for my city. So you don't need, you don't need money for ads. You don't even need money to go out and record stuff. It's really just getting a camera on your face, you know, doing something that, you know, I like exploring, um, you know, new places in the city. And might as well record stuff when I'm there to, uh, you know, double dip and get double usage out of it. So to get like, you know, enjoyment from just exploring, but then I can use the content for um, YouTube vlog ads. So the main question is, how virgins can get their first lay from in-person boot camps? Well, the estimate is you need 100,000 new women to find out you exist to get that done. So the way to do it is not doing in-person boot camps. That's really the conclusion. Because you ain't got... I mean, you can test one person, one in-person boot camp. You know, find Google called approach all the women. Uh, but you'll see it's very inefficient, non-scalable. So like... Um, a super high chance you don't get results, and then, oh, uh, you know, I wonder if, I wonder if you know, the coach plants some women in there to get some men some like easy W's, and maybe pays the women. Who knows? I have no idea. But um, 
if you land the cold approach scale, like you're eventually going to move to this strategy anyways. Um, even if you master the cold approach skill, because if you master, you're going to be like, man, this is true. This is insane amount of time. I don't want to spend the time with this. I'll just spend, you know, a dollar, you know, do 1.2 cents per girl, to, you know, instead of having to cold approach a new girl, I just rather live my life or earn more money or do something else to relax or sleep. And I'll pay 1.2 cents to get in front of that girl instead of, you know, me instead of actually spending my time to get in front of her with in-person boot camp cold approach. Um, basically, I went to see um, where 18 to 34 year old women's attention in the U.S. is, because those are like the highest in demand women um, that I want. Um, and I realized, dude, there's basically literally like zero women on Tinder. Um, but on all these social network platforms, you, know, you got 40 to 60x, which means you can get 40 to 60x maximum like the results. Um, if you can get women's attention on these platforms and also on Tinder, it doesn't even tell you how many women are seeing your profile. Whereas on these platforms, you can get exact data for that. And that's because Tinder, you know, there's basically like no women on it. So you'd basically be getting no women viewing your profile. So you wouldn't even pay for boost or pay for plus or pay for premium. And you'd be off the dating apps ASAP. Um, if you knew this number and now you know this number. So you're probably, why the heck dude, a million women think of it's, if it's divided equally among the the you know the largest fifth the largest city in each state, so fifty states, fifty cities, it's only twenty thousand women on Tinder. Basically, Tinder meaning dating apps, but this data is actually for Tinder, and probably all the same women are on all the dating apps, or like you know eighty percent overlap. So we can literally say this is Tinder's like a proxy for dating app users in the U.S. It's just like one million women, eighteen to thirty-four, and so dude, it's like twenty thousand women in the biggest city in each state if it's divided evenly um, and no women any other part of the state uh, so dude there's literally there's basically no women on tinder that's probably the biggest reason you're getting no matches no interest from women so i got this data and i said does it make sense to reach women on these platforms if i want more options in the sexual marketplace or would i be wasting my time and money being in front of these women here as opposed to the dating apps and the answer is yes, it does make sense to reach women on these platforms because of another video I have, the sexual marketplace pyramid video. Basically here, this is the goods and services market. 3% of women, or three percent of buyers are ready to buy now. And you know, there's some division of, you know, how much intent they have or if they're even aware of the problem. Most people are not even aware they got a problem. Uh, and we can, I wouldn't create an analog for um, the sexual marketplace where the buyers in the sexual marketplace are women. So at any time, what percent of women are buyers, AKA looking for the bigger, better deal? And it's basically all the time uh, in my estimate, because if a woman's not in the honeymoon phase, she's looking for the bigger, better deal. That's just how their uh, programming is. And the honeymoon phase is like the first three to four years of a relationship uh, where everything's like perfect. Uh, and then it goes downhill after that. Because of the Red Deathly Hallow women, women are biologically programmed to leave men. And you'll see the largest um, divorce rate is right between year three and year four. Um, and 3% because you know, three years in the honeymoon phase out of 100 year lifetime, uh, lifetime length. So, you know, we can estimate, you know, at any point, 3% of women are in the honeymoon phase, which means they're not on, you know, they're not on the sexual marketplace. They're not open to the bigger, better deal. But so we don't care about them. But the one we do care about is those women who are open to the bigger, better deal. The non-honeymoon phase women, which is basically all women at all the time, at all times. So it's really good for us because that means 97% of women are currently buyers in the sexual marketplace. And when you spend money on ads for yourself in the sexual marketplace, which is like the strategy we're overviewing here. Approximately 97% of that ad spend is going to women who are ready to buy today, okay, buy the sperm of the man to uh, of the man today for a man she wants. And again, that's far different from advertising as a biz, like what I'm doing right now, in the traditional goods and services market, where only about 3% of y'all are ready to buy today. But the main point here from this video, this visual, is um, all female attention towards men anywhere, on any app, in any location, for any reason, 
is always homogenous as sexual marketplace attention, aka women 97% of the time are looking uh, are looking for a bigger, better deal, or 97% of women at any time are always looking for a bigger, better deal. Again, different from goods and services market, where some attention may be researching goods on Google, and other attention other attention is buying the goods on Amazon.com. So the intent of the attention is different for different apps slash platforms in the goods and services market, but not so for women's attention on men. It is always sexual marketplace attention, as women are 97% uh, always looking for the bigger, better deal. We can say 97% of women are currently uh, looking for the bigger, better deal, regardless of app slash location, app slash website, website slash you know location. Think, if Drake slash Leonardo DiCaprio was advertising application forms to fill out for a date with them on Amazon.com, would women fill out those applications? Even if the women didn't even know they were there when they went to Amazon.com. Obviously the answer is yes, because all female attention towards men anywhere, on any app, in any location, for any reason, is always homogenous as sexual marketplace attention, aka Women are always looking for a bigger, better deal. And it's not like women are going, oh, I came to Amazon.com to buy something, so I'm not going to try to get on a date with Drake or Leonardo DiCaprio because that was not my intent when I typed in Amazon.com today. I mean, obviously they're gonna dive right in there. Um, even if you know it's a complete surprise to them, it captured their attention because women's attention towards men is always sexual in nature, aka it's always um, homogenous as sexual marketplace attention. So we figured out where women's attention is. We've also figured out the attention on these platforms of women towards men is the same as if you're on a dating app because women's attention is always homogenous as sexual marketplace attention towards men. So the conclusion is, yes, it does make sense to reach women on these platforms. These ones up here where there's 40 to 60x more 18 to 34 year old women in the US on these platforms compared to on Tinder or basically on any, any dating app. Um, so it does make sense to reach women on these platforms if I want more options in the sexual marketplace. Okay, now how do we reach these women? So what I decided is I decided to go out and create content, just basically like quick vlogs, like four minute vlogs to reach women on my chosen platform. YouTube, we can use it for any platform, but it's cheaper to test on YouTube. And content is stored energy by that from dude Jacob Cadis, Australian like, uh, like some um, solo business consultant things like that, uh, where you record it once and you can reach as many people as I want forever, essentially replicating myself over and over. So what I did was I went to three popular locations in my current city and recorded one vlog at each of them. So here we got the three vlogs. Uh, I also created 12 super mini vlogs where I'm testing the clips in different orders to see if it changes engagement at all. So we got our three main vlogs, 12 mini vlogs for a total of like 15 uh, pieces of content to run as ads. Then I ran all of the above as ads on YouTube to women 18 to 34, female, 18 to 34, and slash around my city. So my city plus a 50 mile radius. Because yes, I have had women. Um, so when I did this outside the US, I did have women come multiple hours one way to bang me, and I was doing city plus 50 mile radius, so I'm now doing it in the US as well. And you know, we'll see what happens. Um, so we put all these vlogs, three mega vlogs, 12 mini vlogs in the Google Ads container, and we ran them as ads on YouTube. You know, they show up before women watch this video or they can show up in feed um, as a video for women to click on and watch and like opt into watching. And then on each of the ads, there's a like a button that YouTube allows you to put on there to tell the women where to go. So I ran that traffic to a landing page with an embedded type form for women to propose a date with me. So Google Ads container with my you know, ad creatives. 
with uh, run that content to the landing page where I had like the same vlog on the landing page and a type form for him to propose a date with me. And now, um, let's see, there are new women. Let's see how many more women came to know I exist yesterday compared to the day before. All right. So let's see how many more women came to know I existed, you know, before using the above strat. Um, came to know I existed by using the above strat compared to the day before when I was not using it. Uh, compared to the, so, so let's say, let's say this is me two days ago. Didn't even think about women, just going about a normal, normal day. Didn't even cold approach a woman, but maybe one new woman saw me exist that I existed, and we'll just file it under the cold approach. So I didn't spend any time, but like only one new woman found out about me. And then the very next day, when I started doing the strat, um, yeah, throughout the creators on YouTube about. Approximately 1,864 new women found out about me the next day. So I approximately 1,864 x you know, my options in the sexual marketplace, my women options, and it only cost me $22.99. So that's 1.2 cents per girl to get her to know I existed. Uh, and, and if the woman's interested, she'll reach out. And women, women like this better because they don't want men approaching them, like literally they only want the you know 9.995 plus out of 10 men approaching them, and so it saves their time, saves me time. I don't want to talk, you know, I don't want to talk to any women unless they propose to date with me. Because yeah, I have done this before in Lima, Peru, and it's 300 women DM me to get one high interest woman. So I was wasting my time talking to 299 out of those 300 women. Um, so yeah, I 1,864x my options, which probably means 1,864x my results with women just by flipping this strategy on and spending like 20 bucks the next day. So yeah, an instant approximately 1,864x in options in the section marketplace for me running the above strat. So the big idea here is if every woman in your city knew you existed in your city plus 50 mile radius knew you existed would you get more dates and bangs or less dates and bangs? Obviously the answer is more dates and bangs. We do have run one reference point here where I was doing a this photo and like 15 second video ads in Lima, Peru. So way less context for women compared to these like four minute vlogs. Um, I had to reach approximately 38,000 women to get one high interest woman, AKA one woman interested in meeting up and banging on the first date without talking to them like more than three messages to set up the first date, you know, four or five messages at max to set up the first date, uh, which is perfect. Um, except it, you know, it was 38,000, approximately 38,000 unique women led to 300 inbound DMs to me. Those 300 inbound DMs led to one high interest woman. I don't want to talk to 299 out of 300 and waste my time. So I'm moving to this trap because I don't have to talk to women until they apply, you know, pr until they propose a date where they got to like fill out a type form to even get my attention, which fantastic because I don't want to spend time talking to any women. Um, only want to use them, use their holes to pleasure my god cock. That's it. And yeah, I'll talk to them a little bit in person, but mostly just asking them about, you know, you know their life in the city or whatever, their whole life. So, uh, we're also currently helping mid-30s Raj of NYC to learn and implement this YouTube day printing funnel to help him get unlimited women without cold approach, without social circle game, without dating apps, without matchmakers, and without DMing random women on IG slash TikTok. And he'll have all the knowledge to run the system, run the strategy, for the rest of his life because that's what we're doing we're giving me all the skills so you will not need me as fast as possible and this strategy is approximately like tinder 2012 to 2014 where the um the um 
basically it's the most alpha, you know, the most advantage you can have as a man is using this strat because most men are not using it. So as more men in your city use it, your ad, the cost for you to place ads and the ad inventory slots on these platforms gets higher and higher as more men are bidding them up. Because right now, it's basically no businesses bidding on the 18 to 24 year old women ad inventory slots because those women have no money. So the businesses aren't buying those ad inventory slots, so they're cheaper. Well, those are the cheapest. Um, and so it's like, those are the highest SMV women in the sexual marketplace. Um, and so they're, it's actually the cheapest to reach those women, even though it's because businesses are not advertising to them because they don't have money, so they can't buy anything, so there's no point to run ads to those women. But here in the sexual marketplace, those are the most desirable women so we can actually scoop up those out of inventory slots for cheap if, you know, uh, you know, for whoever gets on this strategy AFAP as fast as possible. So it's a new sexual marketplace strat. And I only allow a max of two new people per month to work with me on it. If you're after that, you get on a wait list and probably be subject to an auction, you know, compete, uh, propose a price to work with me competing against every other people on the wait list and the price could be insanely high, you know, depending on how the market values the service. Um, now I do have a guarantee. We'll work together on this ad stuff until we have increased your women options by 100,000 women, AKA 100,000 new women in your location will come to know you exist. So as my guarantee, or can I do, I'd like, do you think you could get more dates, more bangs of 100,000 new women in your city plus 50 mile radius knew you existed? Obviously, yes. So that's I guarantee for you. Um, what else we got? Yeah, location, your city plus 50 mile radius. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I have y'all do. That's what I did in Lima. Yeah, I am in a US city now. Um, and this guarantee is valid as long as you average spending 300 bucks a month on ads. And after 90 days, I'll ask to see your spend every month to continue on getting more months from me. But yeah, I want to get you to 100,000 new women know you exist. If, I mean, the only way you wouldn't be able to work with me is if, well, you didn't have the money, or if the wait list, you know, if you got to go on the wait list, or your city plus 100,000 women, uh, your city plus 50 mile radius does not have like at least 100,000 18 to 34 year old women. Um, because you're, well, yeah, unless you want to advertise to the older women. Obviously, it gets easier. But um, 18 to 34 is like the default for this 100,000. Um, I don't know, it's getting more months for me. All right, so here's an interesting thing. Um, on Facebook, IG, and TikTok, we can deduce how many unique women. So I'll show you. Um, these are my ads around Q4 2023 for an exercise product. Um, that I'm the owner of, around these on TikTok. And refresh the page so you can see this. I spent 250 bucks, so yeah, I know how to do YouTube, uh, TikTok ads. Had three people buy um, exercise product. Most of the wasted spend was here. You know, I did a lot better here, where I actually retargeted people in like these three campaigns. You can see that's when I started getting conversions. Um, but yeah, my exercise product uh, met also is expensive, up, uh, up towards 100 bucks. But you can see I got results uh, from doing this on the goods and services marketplace, so I know how to set everything up for TikTok. I know I've had a one ask from Dapo about TikTok, yeah, and I've already done it. Um, and you can see right here, reach. So it's reach for the, um, the five campaigns, if you add it up individually, 2,700, 600, 3,300 plus 400, 3,700, plus 800, uh, you know, 4,500 reach if you add up the campaigns. But here, the total five campaigns, the bottom row, actually dedupes it, deduplicates it. So 3,271 um, is the number of people I reached for my um, um, exercise product. And like this campaign was to a cold audience, so it's 1.53. One point, uh, the average person received 1.5 of my ads. 
So that's TikTok. Uh, I'll show you here on Facebook Ads Manager. Um, Facebook Ads Manager also dedupes it, which I like. So, so these are actually the ads I ran in Lima. I do have some videos of this on my uh, um, YouTube channel. Basically here, reach, so unique uh, accounts and our accounts reached. Accounts and our accounts is just like one user. Maybe they got a Facebook and an Instagram. So if they see your ad on Instagram and on Facebook, it only counts as one, you know, one user, one account center account. So if we add up this reach uh, individually, it actually adds up to 115,000. But we can see Meta here deduplicates it to the you know total unique number of account center it reached was uh, 77, 76,000. So that's where you know you keep hearing that number. For basically, you know, 600 inbound messages, and this strategy is based on testing on like YouTube is the cheapest to test. But once you find a winner, you can transplant it to the other platforms, or you could also start on the other platforms like you know, Dapo wants IG and TikTok. Okay, vertical video on TikTok most likely, maybe, definitely, probably vertical on IG as well. Perhaps horizontal for the feed placement but vertical for stories and real placement. Uh, YouTube though, Google Ads does not deduplicate. And so 100,000 new women on that. I've done some math, it comes out to about 170,000 impressions. Basically I just took this factor from Meta, you know, 76,791 out of 115,000. Just say like, you know, what's a general dedupe Factor, and it's 0 0.65. So, you know, I just applied it to this. Plus, sometimes the ads go like normal ad impression is 1.1 on Google Ads. So, if you do 100,000 times 1.1 divided by 0.65, that's how I get this. So, it's like I'm translating from impression numbers to you, you know, deduping that down into unique uh, women. And, and yeah, it's approximately 170K. So, that's where I got that number. So if you have 1800 bucks to invest in yourself, and that's the total to work with me to get 100,000 women to know you exist, as long as you're spending 300 bucks a month on ads. But like, even if you don't, I'm still default gonna work with you 90 days. But then at the end of the 90 days, you know, I'm gonna check, hey, did you spend at least 300 every month? You know, have you spent 900 in ads till the time I check? If yes, and you have not reached 100,000 new women, then you know, all right, I'll keep working with you till you hit that 100,000 100, new women. So yeah, it's a total for 90 days plus the extra months of help if um, if not reached 100k new women yet. Um, and 1,800 bucks to invest in yourself to get the skills that you can use for the rest of your life to get as many women as you want anywhere you are that no one can ever take away from you. And you have 10 bucks a day to run vlog ads. So 10 bucks a day, I know on YouTube, 900 bucks in three months, that should be about you know 100,000 new women. Facebook, IG, and TikTok, it'll be like double the, uh, like $20 CPM. So you may need, you know, who knows, four, you know, four to five months, because these placements are just more expensive. Um, to reach the 100k but look as long as you're just spending 10 bucks a day you know 300 a month i'll keep working with you till we get 100,000 new women to know you exist um uh yeah and the 300 dollars per month min spend tracking starts when your first ad starts spending so yeah uh, i might ask to be added as like read only on your google account um but like you know i'll probably just ask you like hey let me know you start spending the ads or once it you know approved and you set everything up your ad gets approved and start spending i'll probably ask you to let me know um and so when you join you'll get read-only access to my youtube ads account which is the google ads platform you can see all my ads slash creative slash all my data uh, you'll get the full non-public video course on how to set everything up how to interpret data how to get your vlog content, how to edit your vlog content. It's, I don't edit it at all. I just throw the clips together in CapCut. Um, you just use the free auto caption stuff. Um, 
so it's all free. And also how to think about everything we're doing here. You also get unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, text, voice note, call, video call. Uh, if you want like call or video call, probably, yeah. Uh, I'm usually, yeah, busy during the day. So you may have to like set up a time for that. Um, and you'll always get same day responses to all your queries. Sometimes it might be like strange hours, like 11.30 p.m. at night EST. Um, but I definitely want to get you same day responses. So yes, I will get that for you. Um, my goals, one, most important, get you results, get you to have 100,000 new women know you exist. Because at that point, what I would say at that point is if you've had no women propose a date with you. Well, I mean, if you've had women propose a date, then okay, everything's working. If you haven't, that's still good data. What I would do is, you know, your time with me would be up because we've reached 100K, but keep going to 150K and probably, at, you know, 150K, if zero women have reached up to set up a date, that date, that's good data. That just means right now your SMV is not high enough to compete in the sexual marketplace at like an economic, you know, level. Or you could keep spending to 500,000 women. Um, if your economics, what you want to spend, you know, uh, if that's still comfortable in your budget range, you can keep going as high as you want. But, you know, I'm thinking, you know, 150K, then if, you know, you're trying to do this as, you know, uh, not too expensive, then yeah, probably you could keep running it or take some time off, two months, three months, put on some muscle, um, I don't know, look fresher, fix the teeth, whiten the teeth, you know, maybe minoxidil in the beard, um, you know, who knows, hair transplant, although that probably takes six months. But like re-up your SMV and come do it again three months, six months, 12 months later. And like you'll have the skills to do it all. Um, so you can just re-up. So either you're going to get women and it works or you're going to get data, which means it worked, just to improve your SMV. Um, and this is the only, you know, this is the only solution that solves both those two things. So my goal is get your results, get you to have a six-star experience with me, and keep all your money you paid me by the end of the program. And yeah, so this is Tinder, approximately 2012 to 2014. A new sexual marketplace strats only come around like once every approximately 12 years, so we're 2024 right now. So don't get left behind. Also, we got two bonuses. You get the exact dark women info and steps I used to avoid losing over a quarter million dollars in my own California divorce and how I kept 99.9% .9 of my assets in that divorce. So I killed it. Uh, you also get access to this document even as I continue to update it. So, you know, go down, click the link below, book a call. Uh, you know, it'll be somewhere around here. Click the link below to book a call. I only work, only work one-on-one -on -one with two new peeps per month. And anyone after that goes on the wait list, which means you'll probably be in an auction with other people that may have a lot more money than you. Uh, all right, that's everything. And yeah, so social circle again, the best way to get women. No, obviously not. In 2024, no. All right, that's everything. Adios.